Hi there. So in this video, we will see how to read and pass JSON file with the help of PhantomJS. So I have this JSON file source that I'm going to point out and then try to read this JSON data. I will also try to pass this into JSON object. Okay. So these are our two goals. First, we will read this data as is using PhantomJS and then we will also create one object. So open your text editor and save your file with name sample.js now create variable named page and then create instance of web page call for create method and then page dot open and here you should be pasting this url okay the next thing you should do is create function and then inside this function what you should do is create one variable name json source okay and then you can simply read the plain text okay reading plain text will give you all the json data within your json source variable now console.log and here you can simply use json source after that, you can exit from phantom.js using phantom.exit. Finally, the semicolon to end everything. And this is first program where we are reading JSON file as it is. Okay. Now open command prompt and then type in phantom.js sample.js. If your name of JavaScript file is something different, then replace this here and hit enter okay this should show you the json data on command prompt okay as you can see it is showing us the json data exactly the way we want it now what if i want to create a json object here so you can do that simply by typing where result object equals to here i'm going to use json dot parse method okay and i'm going to pass json source to it okay so if you try to use console log here as well then it will give you that object name and not the data So this is your simple code on creating result object from JSON data. Okay, now let's run the program again. It should show you both JSON data and the object. Okay, so here at the end you can find it shows you object object. So that means your object is created and console lock is pointing to that object. So this was our short video on how to read a JSON file and how to also pass that JSON file to create an object. 